What separates the Earth from space? It's the atmosphere, the bubble of air around our planet which allows life to flourish. You might assume space starts where the atmosphere ends, right? Well, actually, it's a bit more complex than that. There are a few different regions to the atmosphere. Closest to the Earth is the troposphere. This is the most hospitable zone of the atmosphere, and only a tiny number of creatures have ever left. Most planes fly in the troposphere at a cruising altitude of around 10,000 meters. Depending on where you are around the Earth, the troposphere reaches up to around 17,000 meters before we reach the next region, the stratosphere. The stratosphere is very different to the troposphere. The temperature is much lower, dropping as low as minus 65 degrees Celsius, and the air pressure is less than 1% of what we experience at sea level. Our high altitude balloon flights travel in the stratosphere, over 30,000 meters up. At around 19,000 meters above the Earth, we reach the Armstrong limit. As air pressure drops, water boils at lower temperatures. At 19 kilometers, the boiling point of water drops to human body temperature, meaning a human being can't survive without a pressurized suit. This is the Armstrong limit, and it marks the boundary of the closest region of space, known as near space. That's right, space starts just 19 kilometers above the Earth. Near space is also the point where our view of the Earth starts to look like what you'd expect to see from space. We can see the curvature of the Earth and the blackness of space above. At this point, we're above over 99% of the gases that make up our atmosphere, but we're nowhere near its edge yet. The mesosphere is even colder than the stratosphere, and the air pressure is so low that different elements in the air separate out into layers based on their density, like oil floating on water. If you've ever seen a shooting star, this was a piece of rock burning up as it passed through the mesosphere. At 80,000 meters, we enter the thermosphere, home of the Kármán line. The Kármán line is the altitude at which the atmosphere is too thin to support aeronautical flight, meaning rocket power is required to reach any higher. The exact height of the Kármán line is still under debate, but many organizations put it around 80 kilometers up. Our atmosphere carries on a long way into outer space. The thermosphere alone reaches to around 700 kilometers altitude, and almost all man-made satellites are found here, including the International Space Station. Above the thermosphere is the exosphere. Here, it's still possible to find molecules of hydrogen and carbon dioxide, but it's hard to call them a gas because the density is so low. The Earth's exosphere could extend as far as halfway to the moon, over 190 million kilometers. Now you know a bit more about the layers of our atmosphere and where the different regions of space begin. Thanks for watching and subscribe to our channel to see what the Earth really looks like from space.